welcome to the Sports CDP Crash Course with Data Talks, where we talk data, sports and sports customer data platforms to help you deliver a world-class supporter experience. Each episode on this podcast is specially curated to give you deep and current insights on how to get the right message to the right supporter at the right time and through the right channel. So without further ado, let's dive right into today's lesson. Today we are focusing on why you should prioritise over-the-top streaming platforms, OTT, as part of your sports marketing strategy. This is the fifth component out of the 10 that we will be deep diving into as part of our 10 components you need to include in your sports marketing strategy today series. If you missed the first five, be sure to listen to those as well. Unlike traditional TV, an OTT platform allows sports organizations to offer streaming content to their supporters via their preferred devices, such as mobile phones or tablets. According to Nielsen's 2022 Global Sports Marketing Report, as connected devices gain momentum as the great amplifier of content, access to content continues to expand, with 40.7% of global fans now opting to stream live sports events through digital platforms. This simply means that the usage of OTT is growing and will only keep on growing. OTT is a compelling component to include in your sports marketing strategy, especially if you are a women's sports organisation. We have often spoken about the lack of visibility for women in sports, but thanks to the advent of digital platforms such as social media and over-the-top streaming platforms, OTT, women's sports were estimated to gain a 96% increase in visibility. Examples such as the UEFA, YouTube and Dozen deal that aim to bring fans all over the world closer to the action than ever before show how important prioritising OTT is. Another example is Eleven securing global rights for the Thai Women's League and working with the Football Association of Thailand to champion the competition to fans across the region and globally. The president of the Football Association of Thailand was quoted as saying, We are excited to work with Eleven on a new chapter for Thai women's football, and this agreement will give fans unprecedented access to the Thai Women's League domestically, across Southeast Asia and worldwide. OTT is a perfect example of how technology can become an important way of making innovation inclusive. It solves the real issue of the lack of visibility of women's sports. Smaller sports organisations are another great example of organisations that can really benefit from prioritising OTT platforms because they have great ambition but not necessarily great resources such as high negotiating power with TV stations or even access to TV stations. The benefits of using an OTT platform are many, but to name a few, using OTT can help all sports organisations, one, reach a younger and wealthier audience, Generation Z, two, target their audience with hyper-personalised content and ads, and if you own the platform, you'll also gain better data, and three, retarget your supporters. OTT is a great channel to use for retargeting your supporters with ads that are relevant to them. So if you want to create a sports marketing strategy that is successful and sustainable, as well as leverage your marketing campaigns and deliver hyper-personalized supporter experiences, that is, deliver communications that your fans and supporters can appreciate, then you should make your OTT platform a priority. If your goal is to deliver a world-class supporter experience at every game and you want to know how you can meet that goal and get started today, then visit our website at datatalks.sc and fill out our demo form to experience firsthand how we can help you. Or you can sign up for our masterclass or email list to get exclusive materials such as ebooks and case studies that will help you meet your goals better. Until next time, stay productive. Data Talks, we fill the stadium, you focus on the game.